Hey, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back again with another wine review. And you know what? Sometimes I do wine reviews that are not about wines that you can find in your local liquor store, grocery store, and wine shop. You know, because sometimes I come across wines that, you know what? The public or my followers need to know about these wines. So today, we're going to be doing Raymond Vineyards. We all know Raymond Vineyards. But you know what? There are some wines at Raymond Vineyards that you can't find in the stores. And those wines you find in stores are actually really good wines as well. I've tried most of them. But today we're going to be doing the uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from Raymond Vineyards from the North Coast. Well, what does that mean, North Coast? Well, that means that these are wines that are made for grapes that are picked from vineyards on the north coast. We're talking about, you know, beyond San Francisco on the north coast, right? So let me tell you about Raymond Vineyards. They've been around since the 70s. They've been making wine for a long time. This also is a wine that is part of the Boise Collection family of wines. But what's so unique about this wine is that these grapes are sourced from three vineyards from the Napa Valley. All Cabernet. How rare is it to find a wine that says Cabernet that the only grape that's in the wine is Cabernet? All Cabernet, which is fantastic for me. I come from a time of drinking wine when the wine said Cabernet, it was Cabernet. Now, all this information you can find online, you know, from the winery, etc. But all Cabernet in this particular wine, you know, from three different vineyards. Now, Raymond Vineyards is out of Napa Valley, so a lot of their, their wines that they produce come from vineyards in Napa Valley, you know. So, Napa versus Sonoma, you know, I like to say Cabernet. Napa, whoa, whoa. Sonoma, hmm, more finesse, you know, more supple. <laughs> more sense than that. But that's the difference to me in a simple sense. So Napa Valley Cabernet from Raymond Vineyards stores all Cabernets from three different vineyards that Raymond Vineyards owned. Okay. Also for Raymond Vineyards, some of their vineyards they do sustainable or biodynamic and or organic. You know, so there's a there's a quite a good range of types of wines come up out, out of Raymond. Again. Boise Collection only selects vineyards. It's a conglomerate of different wines between France and California, and it only selects wineries that meet its criteria for making quality wine and has a good history and a good story of winemaking. So here we go. Let's pour this out. This is a 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon Raymond Family Classic. We are at alcohol level of 14.5% on this particular wine. Get a look at that color. I mean, typical of Cabernet. Deep, dark, you know, rich on the color. Nose. Plum. Oh, wow. Plum. Subtle mintiness. You know what? I have to say, and it's rare this happens to me. I smell this wine. I, I literally think about having a steak with this wine or a burger with this wine. I want some beef. That's the, what I get off the nose of this wine. You know, when they say wine, you're kind of like fleshy smelling, you know. But I just thought I presented it to you in a different way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the term. It has a fleshy smell to it. That don't, that don't sound right to me. Subtle spice spins Time in French barrels, French oak barrels. So, you know, we're talking about when it comes to uh, uh, America, we're talking about something more subtle. As to aromatics, a little bit more subtle than it comes to American oak, you know. So, very nice. The nose is very well balanced, you know. Plum, dark fruits on here. Ah, I can just smell this wine all day. Isn't it great? Wow, it, it's Fantastic when you find a wine you could just smell all day. <laughs> all right, as we say in this industry, I can just nose this wine all day. <laughs> there we go. Now, of course, traditional rinse, rinse the palate first. Let's let the wine take over and let's let it be about this wine only. Okay. Mm. 
Wow. When I rinse, I rinse for acidity first, always acidity first. Mouth is watering. Good sign for me. Second, flavor, balance. Wow. I have to, I have to say, wow. You know, I mean, this is 2018. I had, to, I had to 2017 as well. So I'm not disappointed thus far. But that all depends on the taste. The rinse, consistent. Let's talk about the taste. Again, we have 14.5% alcohol. Is it out of whack? Is it an alcohol burn? What's happening here? Do we taste fruit? Is the fruit being overshadowed by something else? Let's find out. Here we go. Now, at 14.5% alcohol, it's not over the top. The flavor comes through. Aromatics come through. Tannins are smooth, man. Smooth. I mean, it's not like those aren't the tannins. They're like very smooth. You see my mouth. You hear me talking. You, you're watching me. I'm not like, it's not anything like that. It's very smooth. This is your everyday drinking Cabernet, medium body, you know, nice fruit, nice flavor, nice balance. You can't go wrong with this for everyday drinking type of Cabernet. You know what? We talk about style. Some people say, I don't like Cabernet. Why do you don't like Cabernet? It's too dry or it makes my mouth stick together. There's many different styles out there. You know, this fits the style of an everyday drinking type of Cabernet from the Boise A collection. Can't get wrong with this. You know, if you want to order this wine, it'll be down in the description. But that's not why we're here. Do I like this wine or not? One more taste. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for me. Can't go wrong with this. It has all the elements, feels great on my palate. It's nicely balanced, it's smooth, it's easy to drink, but it has subtle complexities. But you know what? I can see this going on with a nice variety of foods. Put that steak on, off the grill, you get the char and the smokiness to it, this wine would do it. Have a pizza out of the oven, even if it's a frozen pizza, this wine would do it. It's so versatile, a nice everyday drinking wine. Thumbs up, this is your Wisconsin wine guy. Telling you as always, just simply let your palate be the guide when selecting your wines, because that's what I do. And I'll see you next time in the next wine review. Ciao.